Hey everyone, greetings and welcome here to the Fire That Burns YouTube channel. So I just bent down and picked up the first proper release of 2022. The new Power Paladin album is out now. And um, earlier I had a great chat with the guys um, from Power Paladin. And uh, you can check out that interview right now. Hello guys, how are you? Maybe we should just start with a small introduction. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, my name is Inki Thoresson. I uh, play guitar for the band Power Paladin. Uh, yeah, my name is Bjartni. Uh, I play the keyboards and I'm uh, a fill-in drummer right now because our drummer had a baby. So when I'm thinking of Icelandic metal in general, I'm definitely thinking of black metal and melancholic rock. Bands like Souls to Fear and Earthen and Shrine. Uh, but uh, power metal? Why do a power metal band on Iceland? Uh, why not? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're, it's, it's uh, an open market. There's yeah, definitely like we have 100% market share of right. the market in Iceland, so like we're dominating in it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've been listening to power metal for years, right? So this is nothing new for us, but apparently nobody here was thinking the same. So, but maybe this opens up something that a lot of people have been thinking about. So maybe this is just a start of something bigger, but we'll see eventually. I mean, this is, we've been, uh, the band is like two years old, roughly, I think. Uh, a bit older. Yeah, maybe two and a half, let's say that. We've been working on this album uh, for uh, apparently two years. Uh, uh, 90, 90 weeks according to Instagram, yeah. last time I checked. <laughs> so uh, it's been a slow process, but uh, yeah, it's, that's, yeah, it's usually how it goes, I think. I better not rush it. Yeah. yeah. We like how we record it. Take you know, time. yeah, taking that we did most of the work ourselves. So, and looking back, we would never have been able to make an album like this if we hadn't, because this is our first album, and the stuff we did was just it would have been so expensive, so right. many hours in, in the studio. So, luckily, uh, we can't do it ourselves, but uh. Yeah, we'll, we'll let people judge like how they like the album. We like it, but yeah, we will yeah, we will have to see. Oh, I mean, it really seems like people are digging it. I mean, you just released uh, The Craven the Hunter, the first single, and just by the look on YouTube, uh, looking on the comments, people are really amused about it. Um, how would you describe the your first single? Uh, <laughs> glam power metal, probably. Right, yeah, I, think I think so. Actually, <laughs> we used to play in a glam metal uh, just a few years ago, and you can definitely hear some aspects of that in there. So uh, that's nice. I've noticed. <laughs> I, I checked out the uh, the uh, Spotify for Artists page. It told us like which were top playlists, and I uh, noticed that <laughs> I think five out of the top seven were glam rock playlists. That people added them <laughs> together. <laughs> So I don't know if we if we if if we're uh, identifying uh, as a power metal band is that being wrong or, or no no definitely not I think <laughs> this this song in particular is a little more glammy it is the it's uh, yeah it's like the biggest I think po and, uh, like pump song that we have yeah. uh, uh, but the yeah the rest of the songs follow maybe a, a little varyingly but follow uh, a little stricter the you know the power metal line. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It's. It tends to be kind of versatile. The the sound or the the songs that we have on the album. I think that is due to the fact that even though we're not uh, that that old of a, of a band, we have uh, been playing, and I've. I think some of them were written before even the band. Yeah, yeah, we've been, we've started. been playing together for like I don't know ten years or something. Like yeah, in thanks. like like eighty different bands or something. <laughs> like <laughs> so, uh, this is maybe just a built up of all those years or something. I, I don't know. What do you guys think that the ordinary metal fan thinks about power metal on Iceland? I mean, here in Denmark, at least, it's not a very popular genre at all. I, oh, wow, I, I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I would probably, I think it's just relatively unknown here. Because uh, at least from uh, my experience, when we were playing the uh, the glam, glam cover stuff, there were a lot of people who came to our shows and there seemed to be like a drought in that there, right. there was like a vacuum in that space that we just so luckily we just fell into it and the, people were like oh yes you're the only glam metal there the so only metal band yeah, with, the only we, metal band with a clean singer uh, incidentally i think it's it's yeah uh, so uh, i think partially we're just i think also just lucky in in a way that yeah. 
we just managed to walk into a vacuum and people are like oh i wanted to listen to stuff like this and we just happen to be playing stuff well, like that there are power metal bands in iceland that are, there have been before um, yeah just to to make uh not that, that no. yeah it's a uh, asculus they're yeah. active now they they don't really play it's different from what we do yeah it's more of a melodic uh kind of like some darktica vibes yeah uh and then uh, Erendil. Erendil. Yeah. They, they were actually uh, that was a part of the band from uh, I think early 2009 yeah. to, to yeah. 11 from Akureyri from Akureyri yeah. and I remember as you talked about the the, uh, the fact that nobody um, was doing this kind of music I remember driving to Akureyri yeah. many times just to be able to see them play because that was the only uh, only kind of band that yeah. played like that so we just drove all the way to the Akureyri being in the top north of the of Iceland and, and we living down you know <laughs> southwest <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's three, four yeah. in total. Three or four power metal bands on Iceland. Well, that's actually maybe even more that we have in Denmark. <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah, it's not a. It's a scene that maybe goes a bit unnoticed, but it kind of slides in with the mainstream sometimes because you can't kind you, you can't always distinguish between like oh is this glam or is this just a slow power metal song? Right. So it kind of sometimes you get you kind of get hits from there and there, and people don't even know that it's a power metal. But Beast both, in, yeah, Beast in Black definitely yeah. blurred the lines. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> of what considers uh, what's yeah. glam and what's power. So, yeah, and yeah. Battle Beast and right. yeah, they, they're in. There into this, yeah, kind of thumpy power metal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, Beast in Black, Battle Beast, Arion, all these bands from Finland. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot from there, yeah. And so, is this the way your new album is going to sound like? Uh, glamish pop power metal? No. I think I, it's just all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> In many ways, I think yeah. it's. No, I th- I don't think I th- this this one is kind of the odd one out with uh, maybe a way yeah. of kings being kind of yeah in the same direction definitely uh, and then we have uh, yeah there's a lot of like more traditionally power metal songs yearly duly this might be a big question but um, in what way do you see your own metal scene on Iceland I love it personally yeah it could be a lot worse yeah right <laughs> That's, definitely. Yeah. Like way, way worse. Uh, it lacks yeah. diversity in many ways, but it's also not. It also doesn't. <coughs> what I'm saying is that uh, uh, that thing about the clean singer uh, singers uh, not being very uh, like clean singing not being very uh, yeah. how do you say it? Uh, frequent or frequent, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah we there's a lot of yeah the the black metal scene is r- really nice and actually super versatile as well. Yeah, That's, and there's a lot of good bands. Yeah. It's not just many bands, they're actually good bands, which is <laughs> refreshing. So how many concerts have you guys been playing? I mean, I know that you did the Wagen Metal Battle, uh, but uh, have you been outside of Iceland yet? Uh, no, we haven't, but uh, yeah, we've been, We also because we don't kind of don't have, haven't had any material to, you know, use for promotion. We have had the two demos, uh, which have been on YouTube for uh, like a year and a half or something. Yeah, I think about the ev- Evermore and Way of Kings uh, demos that we did, yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, we've had no, th- yeah, it's been no reason to try to go abroad. It's like, we were a band from Iceland, <laughs> and they were like, where, where do you play? And it's like, like demos. yeah, you just have to come and see. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, well, I mean, but, but in Iceland we played, uh, um, quite a, quite a, a few. Number. We played yeah. uh, we, uh, last summer. Actually, we we our album uh, recording was delayed, uh, kind of just because of the fact that last uh, the summer twenty nineteen with the Wacken Metal Battle uh, around that we also played at Eistnabruk and at uh, Northern Punk. Yeah, which is two like the two metal festivals, I guess. Yeah, Northern Punk was a weird one. That's that's a a yeah. more like a punk rock, um, black metal. Uh, yeah, no Viking metal allowed. Yeah, actually. <laughs> so they, so, but somehow we we yeah. uh, slipped through the cracks. <laughs> so and and that and uh, the Iceland airwaves as well. Yeah. So we've at least gotten a few spots. Yeah. When you look at it, it's like, oh yeah, we've been That's we've like been doing stuff all but, in one yeah. year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and also just uh, the pandemic. Okay. It actually kind of helps us because people want concerts, and they can't. So they just have to go outside and look for music. So right. like we're a real really small band, and w- nobody knows us, and. Uh, we can't, and we're not gonna go play on any grand concerts. But people might accidentally find us because they're looking for new music. So it's it's kind of working in our favor. It's it's really bad for the bigger bands who are touring. But like 
if we're just looking at ourselves, it's quite nice. <laughs> right. <laughs> except we can't play. Yeah, except we can't play. But to follow up. Yeah. But so, it, like, the album comes out, maybe people will notice us, and what's going to happen next? We have no idea. Well, maybe, maybe something maybe, nice. Maybe when it's all over, we'll have a second album. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> to keep life going. Yeah. And so we were aiming to have your debut album coming in early 2021, right? Yeah, we were hoping January, but uh, probably February. I would guess February. Yeah. It kind of depends on, uh, I mean, just the fact that you have to give Spotify like two weeks notice yeah. to be able to get the stuff online. Uh, yeah. I'm guessing there will always be some sort of a delay. We're uh, right now in the process of finishing uh, the final mix tweaks yeah. for uh, the rest of the songs. Um, Uh, and it's just off to mastering. And this will be released on CD and vinyl? I'm hoping both. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's we'll, yeah, it kind of depends on, it's like, if there's a, if, if, if people ask for it, then we very well, very well might make it. But yeah, I think it just depends on if people want it, then we can make it. It's, I kind of want one, so I'm yeah. at least yeah, creating I, one for I'm myself. I'm not buying for, <laughs> I'm just paying for just one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that people will be digging you guys, but but what would you say to the Danish power metal fans who are totally new into you guys? Um, why should they listen to your upcoming new album? Damn, it's don't do it. Uh, no, just don't don't <laughs> listen to it. It's carpet. No, yeah. <laughs> reverse psychology. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's the only new way. All right. Just to give it a try. Right. What's the worst thing? If it sucks, then you don't don't have to listen to it again. It's like yeah, I'm done with that. So, but it, you maybe you'll like it, and then you found something you liked. So that's just another thing you can add to your favorite list. Right. And then you can the, buy the mild. Yeah. And the CD, and the limited cassette yeah. edition. Yeah. I think there's, like I said, with the versatility, or I don't know if the versatility is the right word, but uh, with the fact that it's so many, like the songs are kind of different, there is uh, a sound for, <laughs> I think, most fans of power metal. Yeah. 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 Probably. We go into a like a symphonic time types of things yeah, which yeah. you can't hear in this song. No, exactly. Uh, like instrumental, uh, like symphonic instrumental chapters in between in songs and uh, openings and uh, yeah, there's a uh, and a lot of voices. Oh my God, there's oh, yeah. a lot of voices. <laughs> I think we counted over on the 115 backing tracks. Backing vocal tracks. Yeah. Our, uh, our, our, our audio engineer's computer is, is having a hard time. <laughs> yeah. Also, I just have to ask you about your name. You're called Power Paladine. Um, you didn't choose Paladine because of the Greek power metal band called Paladine, or...? No, it was a, actually... A Greek? It, it, yeah. Oh, there's a Greek too. Oh, nice. No, the, <laughs> it, yeah, so this is kind of a... Yeah, we started... Yeah, Like the story says, we started like over two years ago, and our singer Atli had had actually gone online and checked he's like is there a band called paladin and and uh, to his amazement he said uh, no there is no band so we just like let's go <laughs> like this is a great name why has nobody taken it and uh, and we just started practicing and we started playing in concerts and started working on the album and then suddenly there was just this uh, this american band who was just a brand new band which was a power metal band and was yeah. had been signed by a label in America. They released their they released their demo I think one year before us we didn't notice and I think it didn't really go on the fly but yeah. after after uh, they have a music video out and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So we just said let's just slap power on and then we're good to go. <laughs> It's a safe bet. <laughs> yeah. And then you can make pee pee jokes and right. all that crap. And so who has done your artwork? James Child, I think his name is. Yeah, I can, I, I, it, it, it was just this guy uh, we saw online. Uh, and it was like, this looks nice. Let's make, let's hire him. Yeah. He can draw stuff because we can't. Yeah. And then uh, there's, this, uh, there's our friend Sarah who's uh, been helping us with uh, the animation of yeah. the logo uh, for the lyric video that we just released today. Yeah, we actually. just a few hours ago we released. Yeah. Uh, she's been helping a lot. She's yeah. I think <clears throat> all of the, uh, I think James is the only person that um, it's not like a, a friend of ours that yeah. uh, comes, like uh, takes a part of this uh, creation of this album and this band. So yeah. it's all like all our audio engineer who could Yeah, he's a friend of mine. Our mastering engineer is actually my former teacher. Uh, <laughs> we just have to when we have to do stuff. We just have to like look into our inner friend circle. Yeah. For it's like 
you need photoshopping i can't photoshop yeah. <laughs> it's like you do it then <laughs> and yeah the, the recording it's like i studied here sound engineering here in iceland uh, Inky I, went to saa in, in netherlands <sighs> so yeah it's been we're yeah we've got a pretty nice tool set it's like it, it's just an arm's reach which is uh, yeah, actually we wouldn't been able to do the stuff we wanted to do without it it it's Definitely just not. It had been so much money that we had to put into it because this costs a lot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, most of the background vocals were written in the studio, so uh, yeah. taking the time to actually sit down and try to add layers and layers and layers for uh, I think we're our yeah. three when we're finishing the final song. Yeah, of me to saying, yeah, one, one more. Just yeah. one more here, and yeah. then we're good. I got an idea. <laughs> let's let's just, just, yeah, and, and, and it would take two. We need to for right, right and left. It was like Jesus. There's nothing like too much in power metal. Yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> oh, let the people be judge of that. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for participating, um, and good luck in the future with the the power paladin.